Here's one coming in from Caps Lock Araujo. Um, is this thing all in caps? Well, I've seen that. I've seen that name around. Okay. Yeah. So seems familiar. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, food process brands. Can robots be ambidextrous? Can oh. RoboCop be ambidextrous? I would assume that RoboCops are de facto ambidextrous. Yes. And the Terminator? How about Android 18? Yeah, totally. How about HK47? Absolutely. I think, yeah. Not to guide the conversation, but giving it a lead in if you need it. Human brains have a right and left side with different functions and priorities. Some Aware. humans are more proficient than others with the right mm -hmm. side, others left. Some Artists, develop skills maths, for both. etc. Robots don't have a right side and a left side. They are, have arms. RoboCop <laughs> and Android 18 come from human minds but they've been cyber enhanced specifically for combat. Mm -hmm. So if a robot or an android or a cyborg can't differentiate between left or right what? regarding aiming in combat or general handling, they don't have a priorital side. Yeah. Aren't they all ambidextrous? Or is that concept even, concept even applicable? My point is, if a robot can't use can use both sides to attack equally at all times, That's right. any robot using single weapons or two-handed weapons is suboptimal. <laughs> Simply due to the fact that having two weapons with equal skill is the main advantage of being ambidextrous, as you doubles your bullet count, target count, gives you a spare gun in case one of your arms goes out or you lose one gun. Uh -huh. The mechanical build of any cyber creation could easily compensate for recoil, specifically in combat models, mm -hmm. and being able to shoot multiple targets for longer with uh -huh. the same precision would be more useful than an increase in damage output. That's why in the remake, Robocop got two guns. Just some sci-fi banter for the podcast. One shotgun versus two submachine guns, for example. Is, is... Uh, I think it's really interesting to bring up Robocop because I was like, no. But I'm like, wait, he does the spinning thing with his gun because he watched the Because he's Because he's a still kid. a human brain in there. Yeah, now, so I'm like, yeah, he might. He totally now, so the real distinction must be made between cyborgs and robots. Is yeah. the brain human or not? Yeah. Right? Is it based on that? Is there a brain at all? Yes. And this is oh, this reminds me of the fun discussion I would always get into with uh, my other mecha friend uh, that you know, mm. and like we would fucking go in on uh, on on like robot designs about like things in practic terms of practicality and efficiency and whatnot, mm -hmm. and I'd always rip them apart every time because I'm like, look, at some point you have to acknowledge that legs are just not a practical idea. In most scenarios, there's some that occasionally come up like geckos. With their maneuvering of the with the with the fucking weird like mm -hmm. getting in between buildings things have a, si a situation where legs can do shit and sometimes there's legs that are like made for getting over particular types of terrain but a lot of the time you like having legs is just an easier to fall over weapon that wouldn't be that you'd be better off with tank wheels unless you're going in specific specific. You're talking about explicitly robots that never, ever have to go inside a building. Or deal with, like, jungle terrain. Yeah, guess right? what? The robots that we love have to go inside buildings. A lot of them don't, though, you're, right? You're fucking full and, of shit. I don't want to live in this I know, I know, but it's hilarious because I was like, I love those designs too, but like, we can't get into the real talk. Because the real talk, it's like JUT never has to fucking land. Yeah, he does. He lands all the time. But JUT barely no has no feet down there because JUT is just floating. Yeah, it's cool. It is cool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But at some point, when you want to talk about efficiency, it's like you can just make a big thing of metal with weapons on no, it. No, guess what? And de and defense. No, and it doesn't have to look like a human no, being at all. No, they're gonna find a fucking <laughs> design document for orbital frames that says this is a bunch of important shit in the legs, like, like, and they have to be separated because the balance. It's it's fucking cool and it's the best. The rule but we have to acknowledge if we're trying to get into real, because it was real robot versus super robot and stuff like that we were talking about. If you want to get into practicality, you have to acknowledge that the desire to make it look like a human yeah. is just for aesthetics and it has no practical if, purposes or bearing. If humans are designing robots, they will always not make them look like cubes with weapons. Yes. They will always try to make it at least something that you can be intimidated by, whether it be the human form or like a dragon sword or whatever. <laughs> like, so, but if a robot designs a robot, robot will make it just efficient 100%. Oh, yes. Yeah. The Shagahod is an, a weapon that looks like I could I could possibly believe it. Yeah, also, yeah. also, because the, it's fucking like the, it's wheels. It's okay. The mechanics behind its physics actually like. There's a basis. Not check out. It, okay. It's not. It's. It's like. It's still absurd. But it's. It's like. <laughs> and you don't. Okay. And wait. You, that's. There's a. There's at least a physics concept. And you don't blow up the Rex ankle and watch the whole thing go down. 
It's not working on the, the dumb human. And Otacon a- designed it to have flaws. Like animal, <laughs> animal principles of walking and design and balance and whatnot should not. Like, again, if you want to get you dumb and real. Have you seen Big Dog? <laughs> Big Dog can walk on all sorts of shit. And yeah, Megabots, yeah, yeah. don't and forget. And he can get kicked and not fall down. Don't forget Megabots. Those things are dumb. And the if, you put, if, you, if you put fucking banana peels on, on the floor, everything's fucked. That's Those videos too. of them just kicking the shit out of Big Dog make me super nervous. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. There's an episode of Black Mirror about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I fucking love the cool shit. And I want it. To never be different, but the moment you sit me down, you know what you and you are? try to, and you try to come up with the reasons why it would be, you know what you are, a good idea or practical. I'm like, you, you c- come the you're fuck the, on. You're the fucking guy in the science meeting when you the when the RX 78s getting designed, that gets thrown out the fucking. Window. No way, <laughs> no way. I'm the guy proposing it, but I'm proposing it, and then they go when they want the bullet list of reasons why we're making it. The number one is because it's fucking rad. That's bolded I, and underlined. And I think Willie would just be happy to be there. He wouldn't be telling the truth. I'm nothing. saying have no illusions about your reasons. Call I, it rad because it's I, rad. I think, Don't think I it's think, real. I think the design that makes me the most upset is the Gundams that have had their lower legs swapped out for tank treads. Gun tanks and stuff? Because it's this weird, awful That's in-between weird. where they, they acknowledge that practical reality yeah, yeah. but still have a goddamn uh, Torso sitting on it. And it's yeah. like, no, yeah. shut up. Yeah. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. <laughs> Willie, you are ruining robots. The desire robots. to have it... To have it look like a human is entirely based out of a desire for cool shit. Now, obviously, this changes when you talk about cyborgs. Because if it's a cyborg, that means it's a person at some level. And a person's probably be more comfortable in something that looks like a human body. Until Ghost in the Shell, when you put them inside little boxes with bug legs, where that's a thing. Yeah, whatever. Cyber brain. Talking about Robocop, It's put into whatever. Robocop's cool. Talking about real sci-fi, not Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. (laughs) Right, and even then, it's talked about bitches leave, man. And not, not to mention, like, <laughs> w- w- why wouldn't you just put yourself into like a thing with infinite limbs, with like infinite, well, if you can handle it, I guess. And I'm not sure if you can handle. How it. many limbs do you want? How many do, can I get? No, Probably that that's like not. Two. That's you no, can get a maximum of one thousand. Because again, at some point, if if the aesthetic of a human. Wait, why it's would not you important want multiple to you. Limbs? Yeah, why would you have extra What's limbs? Well, it's more just like, do you want to be a cool-looking human, or do you want to have supreme functionality well, and but optimized I, well, everything? Okay, right? I'll, like, I'll look like Goro, but yeah. I don't want to look like seven Goro. Like, well, Willie, would you no, be it's a more, Goro right be a now? Millipede. It's more along the lines of, and, and it goes into our, our Terminator Salvation discussion, oh, right? Oh no! It, it gets into that a little bit. It's like, why would there be a pen and a chair on that desk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would there be lights and stairs yeah. in a thing where only robots and farms are being printed and born? Human production designer at some said point we're gonna fucking make the Skynet base. But Wait. then you want to zoom out from that thing and you go, why is a T one hundred? We're never gonna yeah. get away from that. Why is a T one hundred not rolling on it, on ball feet that's why, with wheels? That's why super the Terminator three D movie, it's, the ride thing, actually had a Skynet where I'm like, okay, sure, it's just geometric shapes moving around and crap. It's so a, you have a giant human skeleton. A Hold spider. on, you have a giant human skeleton robot walking yeah. on two feet very slowly. And then using both arms to aim one gun at but John that's Connor. Because it was trying to be to get infiltrated into yeah, the Yeah, it was camps. trying to fool people at a distance. Sure. By covering it with gleaming steel. Yeah. But I, if the robot just wanted to kill humanity as efficiently as possible, that would be a thing that was just like a bunch of wheels and guns rolling really and, fast, shooting everything. There's been Think a, of Robot Wars. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, I was actually. Uh, there's been a lot of stupid things that we've latched on to as, like, things to rally against with too much passion. Yeah. yeah. But the one that I've noticed we've gone back to the most is the pen on that desk. Like, <laughs> like just I, anything. <laughs> any, anything that fucking... And the valve. Me. And the fucking hand valve in the, in the factory. But it's because the contrast, when you see a moment of these things... Rips the whole thing open. Uh, it's like, honestly, those... honestly, it's been blown out of proportion. Where I'm, I'm 99% sure there was no pen. There was, there was a no, valve. Yeah. 
there and was, there was a flat, valve and there was, and there was a chair. There was floodlights and a chair. I remember yes. seeing a chair. There was an office chair. But, but there was but, paperwork there and but, a snow globe. But think of <laughs> Just a fucking Terminator looking at a chair and just not knowing what to do. A hang in there poster and, and a it, water cooler. And it has a little endoskeleton kitty on it. But here's the problem. Think about those rolling things from Star Wars, uh, from Ep- yeah, Phantom yeah, Menace. Yeah, the ones you love that shit because it's, it's fiction annihilating. And it's you're so going, stupid. oh my god, those things are the, they're unstoppable. I don't think they ever deal with them with their lightsaber <laughs> You can't <squad>. win. <laughs> so they're like, it's like, because the problem of a stupid we're fucking cool. robot going, uh, in, like walking one foot by one foot yeah. and doing the double aim with the big rifle versus rolling death. Why wouldn't a machine design rolling death? You know? <laughs> I know, I know. And then but, Grievous later on, yes. just cheating. And he has with all, all the arms. lightsabers. Yeah, it's yeah. like, why does every why robot does, not just why cheat? Does, why does Grievous, Grievous have four lightsabers? Why doesn't he have like four hundred <laughs> lightsabers? But, what, is just he like a cheat. weird lizard? Because he had a heart. Yeah, because he's a, yeah, he's a lizard. Then. So they had an excuse to say, oh, there might have been a, a well, reason why he was forced. I thought there was using, Terminator using light, where, where like you know. the scientists, like the the baby daddies of Skynet, were like tinkering with cyborgs and then Skynet just repurposed the shit that was already in the data banks or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You know, you know, the, 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 the enemies from, um, uh, uh, uh fucking uh, all you need is kill the slash. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, uh um, I, I keep thing. saying day after tomorrow, but it's, it's, well, yeah, no, that's, 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 that's its real title. Yeah. yeah but, totally. uh, um, edge of tomorrow, edge of tomorrow, those things are like in my head, kind of like if you wanted to just kill humans, as a as an AI like that was evolving. So they were really fast. And, you just roll these. And fucking, they had a thousand limbs. And they're so, just yeah. sonic spinballing at you, yeah. and you have no chance. That that's what she got. Is what Skynet would be putting out. I think. And, and eventually it would. At, you know, at I some think point, it starts off slow. What is this? What is well, this leg and arm? The T one thousand is like you. No one should be able to beat yeah. the T one thousand ever. Yeah, it's, it's just, ridiculous that he lost. Science fiction. <laughs> <laughs> so it is ridiculous, <laughs> but science fiction needs to acknowledge that like there's a level. And then the TX had even more reason to never lose. I always thought the TX was a fucking downgrade from the T one thousand. How? Okay, because it has a physical body that you can smash. No, but no, here's but what's fucking stupid though. You beat the when they're having a powder. fucking, they're having a fist fight, and it's like, why would you even have a fist fight and throw punches and shit? Why wouldn't the TX just start spinning its top, and just spin until everything was fucking wrecked? Just to take your waist. And and just fucking spin and fighter. It, and you're not even off base because it does something. Like a bunch that, of those from time to time. Or so was like the wrong way and it flipped the yeah. other way. Like you no, were don't do that to correct yourself and then throw inferior punches. No, 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 no. It, do it, things that only machines can do. Yeah. Spin like fucking Sonya. Make your legs kick in bullshit ways because <laughs> only you can do that. <laughs> Robots adhering to human ideologies of how to fight is dumb. Okay, so remember at the end of T2... But it's cool when it looks like us. The Terminator so let's just punch. call it what it is. The Terminator throws a punch and it hits the head of the T-1000. Yeah. And then the head morphs into its hand. Yeah. Holding its fist. And I'm like, it never should have lost. Well, more than that, why didn't it just form its head back around the fist and just keep it? And then he would have two stabby fists to stab <laughs> with. Or why doesn't he hold him there and have a hundred blades just come out of his chest? If two Terminators are <laughs> fighting and you can make out what they're doing to each other... That's a bad robot. <laughs> it's not. No, it, a, you, you know what I mean? T- T-800s, they, uh, no, they, they are very limited design. But yeah, if it's the T-1000 or the TX even, then yeah. Or if it's two John should... Connor robot, cyborg, whatever. Nanobots, whatever it was. Robots. He did bullshit. He did flash stepping. Yeah. But no, robots, they should just be, like, fucking swinging every limb in every direction really hard to kill. If you're doing melee yeah. and if you're doing guns, so you, you should just so be what, shooting everywhere. So what you want as Well, the, not what I want. No, shut up. It's not what, what I no, want. No, shut up. What you want as the final ultimate battle in T2 is fucking Bart and Lisa spinning their arms yeah, and legs yeah. at each other. <laughs> So, Willie, what you want is a realistic, down-to-earth robot apocalypse 
that's swarming with magic robots and magic. I'm say all I want is every I want us to acknowledge yes. that robots look like people because that's cool. Yeah. I, I, and I that's the anyone... only reason why. Hey, his question. Except fucking... for occasionally the terrain thing. His question really, he said, I just want to spur sci-fi talk. You sure got it. Yeah. I think, Jesus. I think deep down, I think you're full of shit. And I think you think that spinning top robot shit is cool. No. I think I, you think that's cool. I, I think it's cool. I, <laughs> let's be, let's just brass tacks a gun with wheels on it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you need anything else? It can't go upstairs. It, yeah, it, stairs, it, bro. A gun with a jetpack. Okay, what you're saying is a gun with just mobility. You mean a drone with a gun on it? It's like a little quadcopter. It can't get inside places. I mean, anymore. I mean, Matrix's gun doing the death blossom. You want the little <gasps> robot from? Okay, you want the Always little robot from it. Dark Mirror. From Black Mirror. From Black Mirror. That's a that's a fucking. That, 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 what about that what about stuff. what about those fucking uh, spiders that inject acid into you that Gene Simmons made that one time? Woof. Oh God. Those those okay those rolling robots from fucking Phantom Menace. Yeah. But they have two heads facing both ways and guns facing both directions. And why can, why two ways? Why would four you four? Well, why would. No. More. You spin them. All. Just spin it. Every way. Yeah, I agree. Fuck it. You know that? I, you, you know I that? was trying to pare it down, and you're right. You know that Indian movie, Robot? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yes. you want. That's, I, that's I just right. every direction. Turns that into a big snake. Guess what? You're dead. That was the first <laughs> You have no chance. Because really. fucking... they fight a million robots that look like dudes, but then they just turn into a ball, and yeah, I guess a they... ball's really good. Yeah, that ball's a very strong robot. Because it's a million robots. How would Snake beat that? Yeah. It's, it's sneak at They it. created a flaw. <laughs> they put in a flaw to the ball if of you, robots. If you shine light at his sunglasses, he doesn't like if it. If Paz yeah. sings, it, it, it gets all, all sad. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired. All right. I have. Uh, <laughs> what's, 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 what's? What's coming out? Uh... uh, uh. <laughs> Just make a bomb. <laughs> yeah, well, look. he asked that. He asked, a, "Well, why doesn't why TV not just become a bomb just to get be a me?" Bomb. It doesn't work like that. Guns are explosives of chemicals, moving parts. It's very complicated. <laughs> well, why doesn't a the bomb TX is just a big kill? So wait, why not? Wait, wait, why doesn't the TX just turn into a bomb? Because the T eight hundred has a bomb in it. No. That's the how they win. They're all bombs. No, because I'm not sure if the TX had bombs too. Why didn't it have bombs? No, because I think he explains that the T800 models had like a chunkier, like older style powering system. And the TX is so advanced. Okay, but then why it. doesn't the T800 just bomb? Uh, why wouldn't uh, Skynet uh, Sarah Connor in the factory? Oh, that that's because that's a retcon. <laughs> why wouldn't Skynet oh. just just weaponize Ebola into everything? And just fucking go chemical on it. Maybe Bolivar Be doesn't exist. Because no, who no, cares? no. I have it. I have it. I have the solution. I have the solution. It's a big solution. Got it? Right. All right. Let's go. So they know Sarah Connor's in Los Angeles, right? Yep. Yeah. It's Los Angeles? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what they do is they send a flesh covered nuke back in time. Mm. Is, it, is it in the shape of a nuke? No. Yeah. Fine. It's just a. But why does it have flesh? Because it's gonna it's, look pretty suspicious. No, no, but no, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. It is just a fridge nuke, covered in skin. Yes. So that it goes back in time. Because oh, Father okay. Time yeah, yeah, yeah. was watching the yeah, humans yeah. go and back he naked. Says no robot. Naked human, and he sees a robot. It's like, oh, I see that robot. Flesh nuke, and he's like, oh, no, that's, yeah, that's, no, that's okay. That's a weird flesh monstrosity. Let it go. That goes through. Yeah, you gotta be naked. Gotta be naked, man. And then man, they blow up the uh, Los yep. Angeles and problem solved. Yep, flesh, flesh nuke. I don't think it, it, it didn't have that. It just didn't have the technology. I, it super had the technology. I think it's because kind of used all the the nukes. They already shot them all over the world. Oh, they could make a new one. I'm sure. Maybe. And it they would be smart. way more fucking megatons than anything else in the in the, in the modern day. Maybe they didn't have the codes for everyone. I want to go also <laughs> nukes and gas. F why are we even fucking with wheels why, and guns? Why? Why, why would robots just kill everybody with nukes and gas? I want to walk up to James Cameron and be like, "Hey, why didn't the Terminators just throw a flesh nuke back in time?" <laughs> 
I hope you got fired like, how, for that. And he's like, how did you know the plot of the new Terminator? Oh, man. Why do we even tell stories? Yeah, really. <laughs> if we can poke holes in them, why For tell? what? What's the point? For why? Dar- Darmok and Jalada, Tanagra, Shaka, the flesh nuke. 